Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to part 4, and uh, I think there's going to be another part after this, and the only thing we're going to do in that one is just experiment with our game. Unless I can finish up fast, then I'll do it in this one, but um, anyways, might be the final one. So, we are done with the first event um, handling class, so it's be a little tricky, but try to find where it ends, so just keep scrolling straight down. And, wow, well, there's a lot of code. I think it's right here, so, yeah. So go out. Um, let's see, that was from 153 to 90. So about 60 lines of code. 63 lines. Pretty, pretty decent. Definitely our biggest program we've ever written so far in this, in these YouTube videos. So <coughs> now I'm gonna do the simplest action perform method. And this one is just for when you click the uh, quit button, just to shut the system down. So public class. What did I call it? Uh, I forgot what I called it. System close. System close implements the listener. And let's do this. Save a little bit of time. Alright. So, what do we want to happen? Well, we just want the system to exit and just give it a zero thing right here. Alright, now our next one, and that's going to be our restart game method, or event method, so public class, uh, what did I call it, res, did I call it restart or reset, restart, alright, restart game implements action listener, uh, let's write this one out, action Alright, now. Alright, so when they click restart, what do we really want to happen with our game? Well, first thing we want to do is generate a new first round. Because if we didn't do this, whenever they click um, restart, the first number would always be the same, and it would be a really pointless game because it would always be the same, and it would never be. Like the first number that's on the screen, it would never change. So. Now our first ran, it's just gonna be a new one, so in um make another one. Uh by twenty twenty tw oh, two zero plus one. And then we wanna reset the round back to one. Um if for some reason they lost and and the buttons are disabled, now we wanna enable them, so higher dot set enable, now true. And lower dot set enable true, and if they won and they're already still enabled, it won't it won't affect it at all. It'll just um, yeah, it won't really do anything. You won't notice it. So, and then first label, and then want to set the text back to our new um, first ran whatever that was. So um, first ran, all right. And now we want to reset all of our labels back to nothing because we don't want those other ones to show. So second label set text nothing, and do that for the third and fourth. And finally, we're gonna reset our win or lose, basically our result label, back to nothing. Alright, perfect. So, um, this is pretty straightforward, I believe. When they go to file, restart, or reset, whatever, um, what it's going to do is it's going to generate a new random number. It's going to reset our round, so they're back in the first round. Um, enable our buttons if they're disabled, or do nothing if they're not. Um, it's and it's going to reset all of our labels back to nothing, except this one. It's going to reset it and display the new first round, which is right here. So, now the most f familiar part of the program for you by now I think is the main method public static void main string args and what the heck oh capital duh alright so let's see whatever your class name is mine happens to be over under and I call it it's called GUI and it's a new over under 
And most of this is already viewed, so. I've already written this program, so I know the ideal size. It's 300 and 150, and I'm gonna have a title. Call it guess three numbers, or no, I'm gonna call it high low guessing game. I don't know if that'll show up, but and then I don't know if I've done this with you, but I'm gonna make it um, set resizable, and I'm gonna make it false because I don't want them to be able to resize the window because. This is the ideal size right here, and if they resize it, it might throw off the layout. So I'll just have it uh, non resizable. So we are finally done with the program. So now, if you're following along, just run it. Hopefully, no errors. And here it is. Nice beauty. High lower guessing game. Get file menu. Your first label, which is visible, and then you got your other one here, here, and here, which are invisible. So, 12. Is the next one going to be higher or lower? Probably lower. Right? Two more? Probably higher. And one lower? One more? So, I think um, it's 75% chance it's lower, so I'll just say lower. And it was. And it says, you won the game. Now, sweet, I won the game. So, file, restart. Um, according to statistics, this is going to be higher. It's going to be lower and higher. You won the game. Higher, lower, higher. Lower. Oh no! I said lower, but it was higher, and I said you lost. Statistically, I should have won, but yeah, I just picked the 19. And I clicked lower, so it was higher. So look what it did. It disabled my buttons. I can't click my buttons. Um, it just has an outline, and they're not filled in, they're not active. I said you lost, and I cannot do anything with this program right now except press file restart. Hmm, statistically, this is almost guaranteed to be higher, higher, lower. You won, lower, higher, up, oh, higher, and it was lower, and I lost because I clicked higher. So, I mean, sure, this game isn't very fun, but you could expand off of it and make it, you know, whatever, do whatever you want. I mean, this is. I think this is good um, logic to learn and very good programming. If you can make a program by this, I mean, make a program like this by heart, you are set to make pretty cool games. I mean, logical games, not like uh, video games, but yeah. I'm probably going to start doing video game series fairly short here, maybe like 10 or 12 more of these GUI tutorials. And then we quit and it shuts it down. So pretty cool I mean I think when I first wrote this it only took me like 30 minutes or 20 minutes but most of it was just getting the layout down so yeah I um, hope you enjoyed the series uh, subscribe to my videos because I'm probably gonna come up with new ones very shortly here and thanks for watching see you guys